Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of DCMS Online. In today's video guys, I want to talk about 10 things you as a player might be doing wrong in 2023 on DCU. If you're new to DCU, this video might be for you. Also, if you're an old school player, some of these stuff that I'm going to talk about might also help you. You never know. With that being said guys, let's get right into it. Alright guys, the first thing you guys might be doing wrong is based on your camera settings and a lot of people might not know this but do you know a lot of players play with your camera zoomed in like this here they be playing the game like this because when you start they really don't teach you all these stuff so for years some players actually play with the game all zoomed in like this here it's very hard to see stuff around you you know, if you play with your camera like this, you know, you can't zoom out all the way out like this here. If you do not know how to do that on the PlayStation system, the PlayStation 5, PS slash PS4. Also, you use the L1 button and the up directional button to zoom in. And you hold the L1 button down again and you use the directional button down to zoom out. Zoom in zoom out you could zoom midway you know while you're playing depending you could zoom all the way out if you're in a read and you want to see the mechanics and some players have this stuff as i said before all zoomed in so you can't really see what's going on around you as you can see here so let me go to the settings real quick here and show you guys some stuff here All right, for the camera, right? This is how you want to set it up. Autos follow must be on. That's how they normally have it. Auto, when you know set off, it normally be like this. But some people might mess with the settings. Auto zoom, you must have that off. If it's on, this is what's going to happen. All right. My camera right now, I cannot zoom out. Or zoom in it's automatically gonna zoom in and automatically gonna zoom out so right now I cannot zoom in as you guys can see here cannot zoom in I'm holding on the L1 button and I'm using my direction button it's kind of zoom in I know you guys can't see it but I kind of do you guys can test it yourself and see that you cannot zoom in so let me go back real quick and change back the settings so how do you have it before which was auto zoom off you do not want to mess with that settings at all because you can't mess with the zoom in and zoom out function like I can see here. Alright, that's number one. Number two, targeting. Auto lock must be off. Like right now, hit L1 to target here. Right, and I could release it to untarget something. If you have it, go to options here real quick settings targeting if I have it on it's gonna target whatever I look at it's gonna target so see I for instance I'm tanking and I want to pull the the middle ad or I want to separate a boss something use a taunt it's going to be very hard for me because I got to switch my angle. And you see, as you can see, it's very hard too. There's maybe a lot of ads in the group, so I got to switch my angle. It's very hard to target the one I actually want to target. See, there's two tanks. One got to separate the ads and one got to tank the boss. It's going to be very hard for me because I got to switch my camera angle and target. A lot of players play like this. There was a tank I recently met a few months ago. That was playing like this and he didn't know how to switch his target because he have the auto target feature on also with this feature you could actually say there's a mechanic for example the rock of eternity elite and you gotta launch into felix force you have to like angle your camera 
to launch in there we could just normally you know have this feature off you know <clears throat> this is not a good feature because you might be targeting the wrong stuff if it auto target is on so you want to take that feature off guys it's better to play with it off the next thing I want to talk about is players don't know how to switch targets a lot of players do not know this so if you hold on L1 right and you want to switch a target what players normally do they release the L1 button and they try to like switch their camber angle just to target I'm doing right now but you can't really see what I'm doing with the control another add or another boss for instance but yeah it's simple this is simple to switch I met a, I, I have I'm telling you guys this right sorry I'm telling you guys this because I have met a lot of players who do not know these simple stuff guys. simple and they've been playing the game for years so on the PlayStation system you hold L1 whatever you target with PC whatever Xbox whatever you use a target on the PlayStation is L1 and use the directional buttons right one to switch like you see there, I switch the walls on the right side and keep on switching to the right side you can go back to the others or the, the, the left here so you go to the right here and you want to go back to the left go to the left right direction button left this is very good for DPS and also very good for tanking very good for tanking what players normally do as I said before they switch their camera angle So okay, okay, okay. So switch the camera angle, they release the L1 button and they switch their camera angle, which is kind of a little kind of frustrating to do. I can see there. So if you guys do not know how to do this, you know, I just showed you guys here. This is gonna help a lot of new players to the game. I know there's a lot of new players. There was recently a free CR skip and stuff, you know, if you're new to DC this video will definitely help you out also let me talk about the gameplay go to gameplay this is number four i'm going to talk about here all right gameplay there's a couple of things here scroll down enable role optional alerts you want to have that off the reason why i'm saying you have it off let me explain what this is about so when I say enable rule optional alerts and you have that on right players gonna queue up as either DPS or the support rule although they cannot say for instance a player could only DPS but he cannot tank a healer I'm mean, sorry a player could only DPS but they cannot heal and a player could only DPS but they cannot troll what they do Right, they'll go up as do both roles just to get into the instance. And when they get into the instance, the players in the raid or say alert will want them to do their desired role that they queue up as. But the player who queued up at that role, say they're new to the game, do not know that you know they have to do this and they're required to do this because you know they queued up as both roles so when you queue up having it on right you will get into instances where there could be all dps's there wouldn't even be a tank there wouldn't even be a healer they wouldn't even be a troll or you could get in there where there's a healer there's no tank and stuff and people can't do their roles although they queue up as it so you want to have that enable role optional alerts off so what will happen when it's off right you will get the desired roles that you want for example a read a person a player right will only queue up as a tank and they will get into that raid and they will be able to tank also you will also get a healer and you all will also get the troll those are the three most support, important support roles here so you want to have it off to guarantee get all those rules if you have it on you're not gonna guarantee get those rules and you know it's gonna be a lot of problems in the raid with all the healer and all the tank and stuff so yeah enable rule optional alerts on a lot of players do not know this when you start off the game i mean i say off yeah 
sorry about that yeah you have enable rule optional alerts off you do not want to have it on a lot of the players don't know this i was saying before when you start the game you start off with the default option as on also our next thing i want to talk about here this is number five gameplay for gameplay allow play sense into instance in progress you want to have that off for example you queue up a raid you don't want to queue up the raid and just get to the last boss when there are like two other bosses you miss out loot on so you want to have allow placement into instant progress you want to have that on if you have it on and you queue up a raid you will get into a raid when the raid is about to finish or that second boss you're not always guaranteed to get to the raid when it just begins so by taking it off you always it's going to always be guaranteed if you're queuing up like on the on duty queuing up it's always going to be guaranteed that you get into a raid right right from the beginning a lot of players queue up for raids you know some players more elitist players and stuff they make groups and stuff on looking for group lfg chats but you know if you want to queue up and that's your way of doing things make sure this is set as off so you wouldn't miss out on those other two loots so number six now i'm gonna move on to the voice settings here a little bit here and talk about the voice settings all right so in the voice settings a lot of players not might know not sorry might not know this but when you start enable push to talk is set as on for some reason i don't know why i say that so you want to change that feature to off because every time you have to you know constantly press the directional button to, to speak and you might forget about doing this and you might try to say something and you know you forget to do this so enable push to talk off so all you just do is speak freely so you start speaking you know people will hear you and you have to constantly forget to press in case you forget to press that directional button that's one of the places this is just i'm talking about all right so that was number six number seven now voice channel switching this you want to set it to manual if you have it on automatic you can see there what's going to happen Say you in a group chat, a group, and you're talking to your friends or whatever, right? A, a specific group chat, and you enter a read. You automatically, if the voice channel switching is automatic, it's automatically going to switch to the instance chat. So say you want to stay in your group chat, say a private group chat, you want to have this settings switch to manual. It's going to be very annoying every time you got to constantly switch from chats to chats. You know, it's that's going to be a very so that's a good, you know, setting to, you know, change if you have it set as automatic. All right, number eight. I'm going to talk a little bit here about the video gamma. This is very important, guys. This is how I have mine set up. You know you could adjust yours to your liking but the thing with gamma if you have it set too low it gets very dark right and when it gets really dark sometimes right i don't want to really mess with my sentence but i'm showing you guys here a little bit in the background there you can see you want to set it i have it all around here but you want to set it where you if it's too bright for you depending on your tv or your monitor whatever you're using you want to set it in a way where you could see all the mechanics if it's too low sometimes you don't see the mechanics if it's it's really dark and you don't see like stuff on the floor say for instance fire on the floor you know you mightn't see all the mechanics because it's too dark a lot of players i see me playing with their gamma so dark you can't even see like some of the stuff going on sometimes yeah so you want to set a little you know not too bright wherever wherever you could play around with it a little bit but this is why i set mine around here like around here because of my tv you know so make sure it's a good gamma you have there that we could see all the mechanics going on in a read for example elite read there's fire on the floor 
if the gamma is not set properly, you will not see those animations and you can be stamping fire and you end up dying and stuff, you know. Or little balls that the balls, you know, little mechanic stuff that could one shot you, like little bombs on the floor, or anything like that. Little stuff that you could avoid, but you can't see it because your gamma is not set properly and you cannot see these mechanics. So, with that being said, let me move on to number nine. All right, guys, this is number nine. I want to talk about the vendor. The vendor here. All right. So, when you go to these vendor machines, right? DC did this a couple months back. They added a new way that you guys just scroll through items. What not players normally do, they're so used to the old way right this is what they do they scroll all the way down if they're looking for something for example i'm looking for mods here they scroll all the way down because they're so used to this and some players they might not pay attention to that they have added teams as you can see on the right side here r2 for teams so the first team we have here So that's the orbital strike team there. Switch to it. The next one we have there, accomplice. So I switch to it here. You see all my accomplices. And see the next one is the R2 there. That's supply drop. Switch to that. You can see all the supply drops. And now they have backup, which is the henchman. See what my henchman here? Now tactical mods. See the tactical mods. And this is the main one here with everything. So yeah. The vendor has changed up guys. I know a lot of people is so used to the old way. But just remember this, the yeah, easy way to scroll through these items and get them faster. And I hope this helps you guys. Alright. And the last thing I want to talk about is this feature that which is very terrible I don't know why DC added this in the game but the auto sword feature some players use this I don't know why but it's very terrible it really just messes everything up in your inventory it just messes everything the way I sort my inventory right now it also messes up some of the bank too yeah, but as I've seen, the way I sort my stuff here is that all the artifacts are set to desired position. It's easy for swapping here. Also swapping weapons here. Like you can see there. Also I have my tactical mod capsules here if I want to switch mods and stuff while I'm doing a raid. You know, certain stuff like this here. So if I'm tanking, you know, DPS and switch out the neck mod, for example. Like I skating right now, I could put 45 assault, you know. Yeah, so... You want to set up your stuff where it's easy for you and kind of more convenient. When you use this auto sort feature, it's terrible. Everything just gets rearranged and it's all over the place. It's not really an auto sort feature. It's maybe good if you're doing, you know, base items and stuff where you auto sort the base items and all the base items going to be, you know, say you have a tune, a separate tune storing base items and you auto sort it, all base items with the same name going to be sorted out and stuff like that. But Having like a lot of random items like this here, you want to manually fix this yourself, you know, for your convenience. That auto sort feature is not really that great, but it helps out when you gotta sort like, as I said before, like specific stuff like, you know, by their names and stuff. But, you know, it's not really that great for inventory and bank if you want to set it up, how you want to set it up, you know. So yeah, guys. So that's my 10 things you might be doing wrong on DC Universe in 2023. Hope this video was very helpful guys please share this video to your friends on DCU units online this will really help them out especially players that are new to DCU also you could give a video a thumbs up you know what I'm saying give me that love you know what I'm saying and you could also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this yeah guys with that being said I'm gonna leave you guys here blessings guys and protection to you guys all and I'll see you guys in my next video you guys take care Peace.